the fully gay. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Welcome forward, whatever the thing may be. Welcome to episode 110, just like the creps, guys. Just like the crep. Okay, clear. Yeah, I never had one tens, you know. I never had oh, one tens. I, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford it. Bro. Nah, bro, bro, I, yeah, I, when one tens came out, no, man was working in St. Andrews and I was still. I, I could afford it. I can't afford the one tens. The little TNs and that, like back in the day. I hate the TNs. TNs. I hated the TNs. Hated them. I never bought them. No, no, you, you, you had to rock the TNs because they were exclusive nah, for Foot Locker. Straight from Foot Locker. It's the only place you could get TNs. Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only place. Camden. Uh, Camden, was, oh, Camden was the only place Foot Locker was open in the whole of London. Told oh, you, bro. Where, where, where you man's getting the money from? That's what I want to know. No, bro. Cam, no, then times, man was doing a little part time. We're working in that, bro. You get like a four hundred pound a month thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I working full time. Enough, boy. Listen, it co- it took me six months to pay off my Avex jacket, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would, that, that, it, that would do that. That would do that. Yeah, me. Avex was like five hundred pound, didn't it? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, could, I never got an Avex, but I got like a. I got like a. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not a knockoff, but it's no, a, no, no. I, I got Avex, brother. It was an Avex, but it was a, it was, a, it was another respected brand. If that makes sense, of a leather jacket with patches on it. Yeah, we had, I, had like, I had like the yeah, Martel yeah. one of them. You know, like you had the biker jackets. You had the, yeah. the biker jackets. Yeah, 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 yeah but the Averex, I remember one time my boy, shout him out, you, brother, you made me get a Bugs hoodie. It was Averex. We went down West End. We got it. We thought we were sick. Like Averex hoodie, bro. You know, like I was rocking it everywhere. No, nah, it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, it, it was cold. cold. I was rocking it. Then I looked one day. I said, hold on. Why, why doesn't it say, it said USA on it. I said, that don't really look like an A properly, you know, like it had an A, but no, no line in the middle. I said... I don't think it's supposed to look like this, you know. But then, basically, because it had the A A on the hood, yeah, I used to rock it, but I have to wear a jacket on top. So I'd just be like rocking the Averett hoodie. So you could see it's an Averett hoodie, yeah, but you yeah, couldn't yeah. see the back where it had the Bugs USA sign. You get me? Last time I went West End to buy anything, boy. I, I, oh. remember, I remember that um, video came out, Fabulous. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. And the Fabulous goes... Um, Baseball jacket with the levers on the on the sleeves. Yeah, my cousin was going to America, New York that summer. I was like, "Listen, you have to get me the baseball jacket with the lever on the sleeves. You have to." But she went, she went, she went to New York. And she got me like an Adidas one in it. Adidas um, um baseball jacket, with the lever on the sleeves, and then the NY and NY one side and Adidas above that. Bob, I hey. felt like I was the guy in it. Hey. I thought I was the guy. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> Kel wasn't even 16, 17, bro. Kel was about 20 something when he was rocking that jacket. <laughs> I remember that jacket. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I remember that jacket. Bro, I, that jacket, I was like, yes, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, if, and the thing is, I would still buy every jacket. I would still buy it, you know. You'd buy it now, but you'd you know, never wear is, it. That's the thing, but I have this the sentimental. <laughs> Yeah, but we all got cars now, bro. Where are we going with that jacket? No, <laughs> Ava- no, I'm not gonna lie to you. Avex was Avex was the bad, baddest jacket ever. Next, you'd be rocking Tim's Avex and baggy jeans, my brother. But boot cuts, why are you trying to bring boot, boot cuts back, bro? I'm not feeling that, bro. They're trying to bring a, it back. Nah, what's the, problem, man. what's the problem with boot cuts? I, I'm a boot cuts follower. Nah, man, I can't. Nah, 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 nah. Bruv, I'm on it. Pause, but not everything is supposed to hug the balls right now, bro. So let the things breathe, bro. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with a loose fit or a straight cut, you know? Nah, but yeah, they're coming back though, 100%. Well, because every two seconds, slim fit, slim fit, slim fit. Do you know what I mean? Not everything is supposed to hug the calf, Not the slim thing, not the slim fit, but like the, the, you know what I mean? There's the base, like this pit. If it's a core. straight thing, I don't mind. But it's the one where it's all like fitted around your calf muscle. Come on, man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying that, man. I'm not going to. I'm not no, going to. You, you can't even really sit down too no. tough. You know, the ones there, mm. like you got to drop low back, so you got a little bit of room. Yeah. <laughs> Show the, the boxes is, a little piece. Yeah. See, the things with these boot cuts, right? They, they're going back into my dad's days. You know, them ones. Like, no, they were, they're flares, though. They were flares. Those flares are flares. Well, flares are different. But they're still cuts like early, early 2000s, isn't it? Yeah, but remember yeah. when people used to, bro, I remember I used to work in the, pu- the prune. People used to cut them. They used to cut the side like of the boot cut so it covers the whole crep. Okay. I'm like, you lot, are, you lot are too much, bro. Yeah. And then they I'm put the, a sock I, underneath the, the, the <laughs> tongue. So tongue puffs up as well. I was like, and I, remember, those, and I, I, I remember the sock. I remember the sock. There's those shell toes. What, those superstars? Are standard. Yeah, superstars are awful. No, they're lovely. They're lovely. They're, they're so uncomfortable. Them. I couldn't wear them. I, oh, I wore them to fashion. Bro, I was in pain. 
I was in agony for fashion. Bro, I feel like how them gal feel with the high heel thing. You know, like them ones Trust that like bun in your foot, but you're rocking it. You're rocking Bunning. the same way. I feel way. the most uncomfortable trainers a man ever made. Superstars, yeah. The shell toes, I don't know what they're called, but the oh, shell yeah, toes. Yeah, superstars, shell toes. Bro, do they used to beef my toes, yeah? Bro, they used to beef my toes differently. I don't, I don't know, boy. But yes, anyway, like I said, episode 110, just like the oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. All right, we've got, uh, brother, I'm not even going to lie. He changed his name on Zoom, so I'll give him his new name. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you, you just seen your name. You just seen I your name. I, I never see you, though. Know? Yeah, you just seen him name. I just saw right. it now. We're up, P- Mr. PK, yeah? Biggie like, D, it? a.k.a. PK, a.k.a. <laughs> Mr. Swinger himself, Mr. Mr. Marcus. Mr. No player, player. player, player. Player, player. The man labelled himself the porn king. Jesus. Wow. It is me. Wow. It is me. Yeah. I didn't even clock that, you know. I didn't even clock it. I noticed it. We got big brother Kel. Jeez, what are you on. saying, my brother? My day. Uh, White walls day, and all yeah. sorts. Fresh from What's the that? new crib. White walls, fresh from the new nah, crib. Nah, the new crib is in a mess in the moment, bro. Nah, I, can't really, I can't really expose what's going on right nah, now. No, don't watch that. Nah, don't watch that. Nah, right now, you can you can't see that. Nah, so you're all good, bro. You're all good. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the palace. I'm in the palace. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's me, like, uh, anyway, let's talk about the background. But we are here, episode 110. <laughs> what is happening, my people? What is happening, my gentlemen? How are you? Yeah, yeah man. man. All good, man. All good. Yeah? Just I'm just tired, bro. But I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, let's not make it a long one, because no one wants to fall asleep like Nate did last week. <laughs> if you caught it, you caught it. If you didn't, they're lying. All right, guys. Uh, we spoke about it for the past two weeks because we just didn't know when it was. Last week, Tuesday, we had a Jar Rule versus Fat Joe versus. Okay, I know what I thought about it. What did you, man, think about it? I apologize to Jar Rule. I apologize because I said Fat Joe. I, I said, no, Fat Joe's going to have this one. I said he's going to have it. But, but Jar Rule smoked him. Fat Joe came back in the latter rounds, but it was too late. Really? It was too late. Yeah, it was too late. I'm going to be real. Yeah. You know who the real winner was, isn't it? Ashanti. Ashanti, Ashanti bro. Bro, that, that was it. She was actually the winner of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, she came out on both so sides. Sweet. She came out. I think her following went up. Then, like, Nelly, then, he start, then he started dribbling and tried to go for the hug. Tried like, to give her the hug. Nelly, I want that whole thing back. They've been beefing for a long time. Like, Ashanti was the... Like, she won. She got even got a Birkin bag out of it. Like... She won basically. I think her Instagram followers went up tenfold. I think a lot of man forgot it was good food. Um, yeah, so she won. <laughs> Remy, I ain't trying to be like that guy, but Remy, well done, Papoose. That's your wife. I'm not going to speak disrespectfully of her, but I respect it highly. Well done, my respect it. I respect it. Um, the other people that came out, Little Mo, VR, all of them. It was nice to see you lot. It's nice to see that you're still doing music. Um, don't disrespect, don't disrespect the team, bro. Don't do no, a fat no, joke, bro. I, I wasn't, but you see, no, you see the whole fat joke. Team, can, no, you can't, you can't, you can't give Ashanti and, and Remy the praises, then and give little Mo and Vita that, yeah, you know, your things too. <laughs> no, no, it was that they, they did well, they did well, but they, it's not my car, it's not my bag. It's not no, my but bag. Little, Mo, little Mo's a singer, bro. No, that's why I said they did quality, they did well, they did well. I think they did well. But I, I do think Fat Joe and Ja Rule really tried to recreate the Dipset, the Dipset one. And like they pretended to do fake beef. Yeah, and I was like, okay, it's a bit tired. Um, Fat Joe, whoever did Fat Joe's selection was awful. I know. I it was know. awful. You was playing R&B tracks. They used like, Ja Rule was playing an R&B track. Then you started playing like a, one of your unknown hip. I was like, no, no, go like toe to toe with it. Like do your selection yeah. a bit better than that. Yeah, his first round was awful. I was like, Joe, what are you doing, bro? Your yeah. selection's weak. Then he took half an hour to get changed. I, I said, know. "Come on, my brother!" Like, but he said, "But he said, he said he was tired. He said he was getting cramps all over. He, he was getting cramps his belly, cramps his legs." He's like, "Listen, I needed that time. I needed uh, it. I was fully hurt." Yeah, he nah, said nah, it. Nah, he, he it was. It was. It was, <laughs> it was okay. And then I guess the other, the other winner, yeah, went. <laughs> And appeared on, on his third on. versus, bro. <laughs> He's taking a mick in it. He's bro. taking a mick, Jada. I think he might as well go to Swiss and then man and say, "Look, I want shares, bro." 
come on, like it's no more Swiss and Tim, it's it's, uh, it's me now as yeah. well. Get me. So I'm hoping. I don't know who they're going to do for the next one, but it was all right. It was all right. Well, uh, well from, I've seen from the next fact, one. From the fact Joe, from the fact Joe and and um, Jaru, Jermaine Dupri hit up Puff like, yo, someone called Puff in it, and Puff was like, listen, man, he said, I'm too to... short to box with God. I got love for you, man, but yeah. <laughs> you're not on my levels, G. Yeah, I think I think he, I think he's a bit rude because I think JD at them times there. If you're going old school, JD was he, he had a lot of people on his oh, roster. Come on, no, listen, he had like About, Chris Cross, Chris Cross, bro. I I put blue elastic bands in my hair trying to be like Chris Cross, bro. Me you know I mean? starving, all of us primary school, all come came on, on screen from day wearing the clothes backwards. Thank you, and I, I did that as well. Legendary. And, um, the teachers would look at me like, "What the hell are you on?" Yeah, like, what is this? Back. There was, I, I don't lie, there was one crisscross song. Shout out Starving. I know you don't even listen to a podcast, yeah? But I don't know if you remember the song called I Missed the Bus. Oh, I Missed Bruv, the Bus. Me and Starving knew that. And then word by I'll word. never, ever, ever do again. Bruv, word for, in the playground, me and him in the playground, that was, you know, like our one track had a yeah. whole crowd. Everyone used to listen to us. We'd rap I Missed the Bus all the time. I, I, wait, I, wait, I had to wait for my mum to leave the yard, didn't it? I just turned, but I buttoned in the shirt from because the shirt, bro, it took me out. But I was there for time in it. So I it was like it was um, one of those press buttons in it. So I just uh, tried to press it. You, press got, you it. got you got a button them and then put it on, bro. And then the jeans, zipping it up, doing a belt, bro. It was long, but just for the sake of crisscross fashion, you know, yeah, man, fashion. done it. You get me. So I think as I'm saying, I think JD could. He he should he should have been able to represent. No, listen, JD, JD's Jackie a writer. Dench, Jackie Dench, Jackie Dench, Dench, a writer them. as well. Like written the whole of the whole Confessions album was written by JD. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What, what what's Puffy uh, gonna do? <laughs> do you get no, no, bad no, boy, no, come on, come on, bad boy. He's got bad boy. And if you're bad boy records, yeah, but that's why it. I think it's a little bit of a liberty because then like no, but no, J- J- Jermaine Dupree's got so so deaf, so mm. he, he can play it from so so deaf. Jacket yeah. Edge, the brat, escape. But he wants wow, P- wow. Puffy. Puffy wants um, what do you call it? Doctor Dre in it. But Doctor Dre, Snoop said Dre's not in that. He's not in that zone. He's not. Dre, Dre, Dre's not, he's not doing it. That's what Stu said. He's yeah. just not. He's not but that's why it. I feel like Puffy just said it. You know the ones there, like he said it, he knows that it's not going to happen. Yeah. But didn't Dre recently come out of hospital? Well, last year sometime. Yeah, yeah, he had the size, mm. some brain size. But yeah. And then obviously he's going through the divorce thing as well and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, he's, he's starting the headspace to do that stuff. Oh, I never, oh, saying I didn't know about that. But yeah, I, don't, I don't know what the next one is, but apparently. I think Diddy. I don't know if you might saw, but um, fact you know, fact Joe does a he does a talk show on, on Instagram Live in it. Okay. And on, on the talk on the talk show, it's called, he calls himself Joe 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 Pra. Like, you know, Oprah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Joe yeah. Pra. Yeah. And um, or Joe Pra. But yeah, he goes um, so he, he does he does his live thing where he just talks and you know, fact Joe's got stories for days in it, mm. and the guests will come on it and he'll, he'll just chat with them. So this time it was him, Swiss. And JD, was it JD? No, it's, yeah. So it's, they're, they're free chatting on the live about verses and blah blah blah. And J and that and JD was like, "Listen, wait for Puff. Puff scared, blah blah blah. He, he knows I got countless hits, blah blah." And then um, Snoop came on. The Snoop was like, "Come on, man! Like somebody tell Puff, tell, tell Puff to come on this. Why is he dodging JD for? Because that's what Snoop said. That drop the Dr. Dr. Dre's not in that headspace. Yeah, yeah, He's not yeah, gonna yeah. do it." And then um. Puff, Puff finally came on. Then Puff is like playing all these hits. Like, come on, JD. When I put on this, what are you gonna do? He says, I'm not, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you my secret weapons. Like, JD, there's no secret weapon. everyone knows your tracks. So Puff started playing his tracks and JD's tracks. Do you know what I mean? Taking the piss. Like, come on, how can you how can you not let and he was having to go at um um fat Joe? Like, how can you let this guy not play any of his tracks? I'm playing all my tracks here. What's wrong with him? So they'll go back and forth. JD played one track professions because you get one, you get one R and B artist that's sold ten million. You get me? So like, basically, shut up and they'll go back and forth. But apparently now, Diddy's, Diddy's agreed for them to do the um, to do the verses in it. So yeah, okay. we'll see, man. But, but you know, you know, what's going to do with Diddy? I don't understand. No, because Jermaine Dupri, who can he face? I think he, he could face track masters. He needs to fight. He needs to face someone production wise, like who's got like a label, who's got like a yeah. roster of artists. Because Jermaine Dupri had Source of Death, which had Jagged Edge, Bow Wow, um, The Brat, Crisscross, 
franchise boys. Oh, I think they like me. Yeah. Oh, I think they like me. You know that man there? He right there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had all them. Oh, he also said, um, you ain't never, um, I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I forgot his name. But oh, all them yeah. man there on social yeah. death. So he's, he's got, bro, he's got hits for centuries. And also he wrote and produced for Mariah Carey, wrote and produced for Usher, wrote and produced for so many. Uh, TLC. Yeah, TLC yeah. was on his, on his label that start as well. So like, you know, he's got hits, man. He's got hits. But Puff has got hits, hits. Do you know what I mean? So many. Yeah. Mm, maybe. But Puff has got, uh, first of all, he's got big year, we all know yeah. that. He's got locks. He's got um early total. early locks before they locked off the yeah, the... yeah. He's got yeah, but still like, mace. He's got, he's got yeah, he's got mace. He's got mace, he's got black rob, he's got um RIP. French Montana, he's got mm. bro, he's got so many, he's got so many artists that you can just if super hits. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, Faith, Faith Evans, 112. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad boy, bad boy. I listened to I've been I've been listening to the audio book of um, Prodigy's book. And it was funny because obviously it talks about like Prodigy's like early come up and that. And basically, I don't know, the book kind of talks about Mob Deep in a certain way that I never really ever thought about, to be honest. Yeah. Like I didn't know they were like this bad or whatever. But he talks about it's funny because they talked about stuff like Jar Rule, for example. And like they never really want to fuck with Ja Rule. And then when it's when they signed to 50 and they were part of G Unit and all that kind of it was just like it was quite. What's the word? Like, you know, like just things that I'd forgot even happened in the yeah, whole rap yeah. game. But yeah. like I said, it reminded me, Ja Rule's been in this for a long time, bro. Mm. Nice, man. That's nice. And do you know what I mean? Ja Rule did his thing. I'm not going to lie. He did his thing. And like, he but, came with the, he yeah. came with energy. He did come with the energy. Ja Rule had about five, six years. And no one bro, can mess with him. No yeah, solid, with solid, him. solid. Before, solid. Before 50, Ja Rule would have been that version of Drake almost. Like, yeah. get me. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like how he called himself a rapping singer though, or singing rapper or whatever. I was like, bro, when 50 called you that, you weren't feeling it. So, like, don't try to. No, take no, no. That's, that was his argument. He said, 50, you're calling me a singer, but you're doing the same shit. You're, do, you're doing it. That's what you're doing. But you see what it is? Fifth, like, anyway, we'll talk about 50 later when we're talking about power. But you see, 50, bro, his work ethic and all the rest of him allowed him to do that, bro. Bro, he could just do exactly what you do. Put his name on it, but somehow it managed to work. Yeah, he, he had the power, man. Honestly, yeah. he came with some next power, bro. Yeah, as I'm saying, if you, you, if you ever do get to read that book, um, Prodigy's book, it's good. You, it's a good cut. I've book. heard about it. It caused a lot of it caused a lot a lot of drama. Like yes. he, he had he, from that book, a lot of people want to get him. Yeah, it's a good book, man. Good book. He, he kind of dry stitched on a lot of people. You yeah, probably. I mean? You know that everyone was trying to yeah. sensationalize everything, innit? Yeah. But yeah, that was the jar rule fifth um fat job. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, it gets I don't know, man. Seven. It, you know, it also, it just reminded me that that Jaru has some bangers, man. He has some hits. You, and he was you, he was a good performer as well. Yeah, you know what, I mean? Very you know what would you know what would actually made him win though, innit? Is what? if he brought if he brought out J Lo. Oh, come on. That would have killed won. Fat Joe. He would have won. Puerto Rican. Yeah, he would have won. He would, oh, and that's what I'm saying. He would have won. Yeah. Are you L E? Yeah, no, he would have won. But I, you know, I'm gonna lie to you. I didn't know. She, I didn't know she was saying that for time. What did you think? I, you thought, I thought it was, Are you early? Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at Rich. Rich is the god. Which is no, good. No, but do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what I'm thinking. I said to myself in my head, "Do they know we're on a pod?" <laughs> Do we do we know oh. we're on a pod? Shut no, up, we do know. <laughs> no, because what are you what are you new Merv? Are you new <laughs> Merv? Yeah? This Merv's left us. So what? So he hasn't left. Well, Merv's taking some time out. Yeah, and you you, you, you replace Merv the the mood. Yeah, I can't. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk. I'm gonna, oh, really? might just chat shit. I'm just like, when is this ever going to end? Oh, and you know I, here we go. I, all right, I, all right, I, you know what? You know what? You know what is? And the maddest thing is, the maddest thing is, you know, like. The verses, it's not even exclusive. It's not even like it only comes on myself and Kel's Instagram. Exactly. It is there for everybody to see. And considering we, just, considering we know we're doing music. it. That's what I'm he saying. Pro- he produces music, you know. And he, he doesn't, he's not into it. And considering, it, no, considering no. we spoke about verses for two weeks, bruv, you can't even say, let me even look at the highlights. Now, listen, 
All right, no let's, move right. let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's, let's move on. Let's move right, on. Sorry, Rich. Let's right, thank forward. God. Thank no, you. No, because now Merv, Rich is going to start talking. Merv, now Rich is going to start talking. Merv, I know so, how you feel, bro. This week, I know you how has... you feel, bro. <laughs> Trust me. These occasions, uh, the pain you go through, I get it now. Oh, shut up. All right, this week, we had the Wicked and Bad. I don't know what else we had. It was called, yeah. Um, well, go on, Rich. This is your platform. They, now, they charged every man ten pounds. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't pay. I watched it live on YouTube. All right, so the first oh, was fight... it live on YouTube? Yeah, that's what I, yeah. I sent the link in the. He sent the link. That's what I watched it on. <laughs> what, was it? Was it a good? Um... Rob, yeah. It was that same one that everyone well, paid ten pounds for. It was no, clear no, as no, day, but, bad brother. No. I'm talking right, commentators, listen. everything. I'm, I'm not even talking about it. it. Was like someone filming it. It was the exact stream, bro. Uh, Trust do, me. Do you know what? Yeah, you should have supported the cause, just like nope, what I did. No, nope, no. Nope. All right, cool. You could talk about Little Man's fight because Little Man he had a fight against. Was that the same? I like Little Man. Though. I like him, you know. Yeah. Do, do you know what? Yeah. So um, this this Little Man fight, Little Man fight, and do you know what? I like I like him from a boxing perspective, but do you know? But do you know what? He's too much to the camera. I'm like, bro, you just just concentrate on your game i know you're good and compared to like all the other small people but just concentrate on your game every time there was like the, the 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 bell went he was looking at the camera looking at the crowd you know showing his arms and his chest it's like bro what are you doing i respect what you're doing because boxing is not easy but please concentrate concentrate on what you're doing and i don't know if you saw after the fight when he had, he was and he was interviewed by the the commentator, but I don't know what language the guy was speaking. The comp- the commentators, do you know what? They actually done really really well uh, because they tried the hardest to kind of get answers from him, and he was just saying, you know what, Guan Fam, you know what, Bang Bang. It's like, bruv, what are you doing, bruv? How are you meant to go to the next level if there is a next level? I, but that's if, that's the thing. I don't ghetto, think, I don't think there is ghetto. no, but I don't think there is a next level. That's one of the issues. Because it's not like he can go and fight, I don't know, a 5'9 man or a... Do you get me? It's... Obviously, it's a small league. It's, yeah, it, but, it's, the, it's yeah, a small yeah, man league. But I don't know if there's lots of um, small people that do boxing like that. I queried that and I researched and there is. <laughs> there is. There's something out there. Not obviously... Oh, trust, not... oh, trust you to do research on that. Trust you. <laughs> Rich, I'm not talking like... You know, like... You know, like... I bet Rich was on it. Like, you know, like how back in the day people used to watch bum fights? Where like they used to go in what? the hoods in America, like pause, like in, in America, pause, yeah, pause. the bum fight. So basically, what's a bum? So basically, fight. like just you know, like people that are like, like, like tramps, crack, and, tramps well, crackheads, well, just like yeah. on the street or whatever. Oh, and they used to like watch them fight, and it used to be a big craze. Like they used to put a world star, all this stuff, like bum fights, and I'm sure they had like a small people <sighs> kind of one. Like I bet them people, but I'm talking like serious boxers, because he's got this intercontinental belt. He will never lose it. Yeah, it's awful. It's awful. No, but listen. First of all, we got we have to big him up because no, pick he, him up, man. No, because he no, done he can his, box. He can box. He, he done his thing like that guy. Um, what's the guy's name? What? What's his name? That guy he had a, who he had a fight with. Oh no, bruv. But anyway, the way he was punching his big head around the ring was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Listen, the way I was punching him around because. Because I saw in this interview, um, Little Man, and they were saying the way you were swinging him around the ring. He said, yeah, he's got a big head, in it? I, I was cracking up. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he did his thing. He did his thing. To be honest, uh, I actually forgot it was on. And then the miss is like, because, anyway, it doesn't matter why she showed it to me, but she showed it to me. And she goes, have you seen Figgy status? I said, nah. And then she showed me the look, like, Little Man fight. And I was like, oh, okay, right, it's on. So I just, that's when I just found the link and I just watched the rest of it. Yeah. Uh. But I heard that was the better fight because the second fight. <laughs> okay, before, all right, before we go, before we go harambe on this, <sighs> let me just say, look, big up bounce, play, big up bouncer, big up arms. Like you look at in the ring, do you get me? You did five rounds of three minutes. Like it's not easy. But I, as a man that doesn't watch MMA, MMA. Also, you not done it independently, so big yourself up. I don't watch oh, MMA. Yeah, but after that, I don't think I'd ever watch MMA. No, but you can't. Judge no, MMA if, if I fight. judged MMA on that, I would never watch MMA. Oh, yeah, of course. No, I, I, agreed. Agreed. 100%. Because this that fight... That wasn't MMA. Yeah, this fight was really poor. They, they should have done boxing. At least then I'd understand it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
I, exactly. I, I, I also I totally agree with that. Like they just hugged. No, no, but this is this is the thing. Um, this is the thing. You know, arms did come out, um, punching for. He gave him a seconds. flying knee, bro. Kevin, that flying knee. That, if that, like, if that flying knee had caught him, Jesus Christ, he would have been in a coma. No, but he come out in, in, as an aggressive tip, like just trying to chuck it. But listen, Ray up, big up bouncer, because he's he had a game plan. Okay. Basically, no, I, I hear you. Get him did... to the floor and go on top of him. And do what, though, bruv? That's what it was like. It was, bruv. Scrubs, innit? Nah, bruv, he was scrubs in, bruv. Like, that was old school scrubs in, bruv. Yeah? Like, that was, I'll make love to you when you... The bruv, it was bad. Yeah, yeah? no, no, and then, literally. And this is my issue. You see the first round that happened? Fair enough. Why is it that every single round he managed to get you back down? You couldn't change up your game plan, Arms. Every round, but like, it's like arms, you know, arms could have done arms just could have just done a running around the ring thing, yeah, and punched him, matter. punched That's him off, it, punched bro. him, yeah, just just to get me, bro. He literally said, Okay, go back on top, baby, go back on top. <laughs> no, but no, but this is where I feel, pause, pause, <laughs> yeah, definitely pause, yeah, but this is where I feel that was it really an exhibition match to a certain it degree, it wasn't, but what. Bouncer knows if it, if it, if it's a fist fight thing, he's not gonna win. He knows this. Correct, correct. Like because yeah. arms is too, he's too strong. He's like he's too strong for him, and he's too. You know what I mean? It won't. It, 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 so obviously, as a as a, a plan, whatever he's thought. You know what? This is how I could beat him. Yeah, no, jiu jitsu no. style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What, what he was doing is jiu jitsu. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind when he got him down if he was doing something. The, even even he started punching, it was like he no, was, that, it was that, like so. This, this bro, is what I'm trying to say. Come like carnival, you know. Still bro, drunk. Still, on, still pants. That is still drunk. I was like, nah, what is this? No, see, this, 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 uh, I, I don't know. You know what killed me though? You know what killed me though, Rich? That picture you said when I was on the floor and the people around him. The dogs are just. Dogs are that. But this is. I was thinking, like you said. Well, there's the free no need for that. Because I so rich, so I'm not cutting you off. Oh, not yet. Apologies, but Bouncer was giving all the talk. Bouncer, like, I've been training five times a day, even for twelve like, during, months for during Ramadan. Like I was fasting, but I was still training twice a day. I I, I I've been training every day. I'm ready for this. But man, man, the but there's an ambulance by his side because you're so tired. I don't. And this is. And it's not like he was even throwing blows. This is on top of him. But anyway, go no, Rich. No, no, but the thing is, I, I question the fitness. I was, I was literally about to say I question the fitness because I do not. I I truly do not believe they have been training what they say they have. There is no 100%. way. There Lies. Is no, there is no way you'll be battered as you're battered in the first two rounds. Like, like literally, like first the first round. Okay, they went. They went for it. Three minutes. Second round, it's just like, bro, I don't know. I've never had a male on top of me before, innit? And like, I um, never show it, you. Uh, yes, yeah, correct. God, never, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> like, yeah, the same weight as me. I, I'm trying to get off, but I'm pretty confident I'll fix this geezer because you can use elbows. I'm, can you headbutt as well? In that sport, wow. you can't. For, for I, don't think el- I don't think you headbutt, but you can elbow and shit. Can, yeah. Come on, bruv, man. Bruv, he didn't even try to roll over. No, nah, this is this is what I'm trying to say. This is why I feel that it was just for the money, and and I think he um, bounced and mentioned at the end of the fight. You know, it was self self. Um, yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Self, all of that, I picked them up. You get me? But straight, that was tech buddy girl. You take me easy. I was like, and even the memes, everything afterwards. Bust it up. Next level, isn't it? Bust it up. It's a lot. But like I said, well, big them both up. I was, I was, I was going to put up in a group, but it was a private group in it. So I don't know if all you may have it. But the memes, I was in tears. Yeah. I was in tears, man. Social media like, is, is unforgiven, <sighs> brother. And they've been going for them. Yeah, of course. And, and and they have every right to go for them. Every single like, right. Like, 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 yeah, like Rich said, like, so what, like Nick said, like, for the business aspect of it, props to you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, for you to get it this... Many even even those that didn't um buy it, you know. Yeah, they were watching it. it. They it were talking hits. about it. And even yeah. you think about it, you get me. They had big Bolton Stadium, bro. It wasn't. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't mm-hmm. like a penny thing. 
No, they had Bolton money. Stadium. They, money, they, they did their thing, you get me? Definitely. Like, as an independent thing, like I said, they did well. That's what I mean. As a, from a business side, absolute A1. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Yeah. And me, you know what I mean? But I, I won't be fooled again. From a sports side, no. Yeah. No, 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 I, yeah, I totally agree. But do you know what? You know, I honestly thought he was going to, like, literally collapse and have a heart attack because I... The way they were finished, when I mean they were finished, come when the final bell went, they were dead on the floor. They couldn't move. And I'm thinking, raw, oh, is this sport that I know the sport is tough anyway in general, but I'm thinking if I was if I was training for that amount of time, I'm I would expect to be at a level, right? You'd expect to 100%. be able to, you'd expect to at least be able to last the five rounds. Hundred percent. Yeah, and they carried they carried bouncer out of the ring. They probably carried him like yeah yeah. I thought, Ron, I thought, okay, I hope it's okay because he looks like he's in a real, real bad way because if I, he, he must have slept for at least a couple of days, bro, because the way he was struggling was deep. Yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely, it's a bit, uh, but like I said, big them up. Also, just to inform you tomorrow, well, tomorrow when the pod comes out or today, whatever it is where you listen to pod, all right, AJ is so fighting. I, 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 I had a challenge there to kill quick. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, a little boy. Sorry, go on. AJ is fighting this Saturday live from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Um, are you man gonna pay? It's twenty five pound, you know. Twenty five pound. I'll find it on YouTube then. Yes. He, he don't need my money. He's got plenty. It'll be straight. Um, dodgy. That mentality's not good, Rich. No, that listen. I, su- I support good. Bouncy. Yeah, I paid my ten pounds for his his thing, but for 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 Joshua, bro. Which is an actual no. fight, though. Which is an actual fight, though. No, 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 no. I support... I'm supporting Bouncer and them, man. Okay. But when it comes to Anthony Joshua, bro, you're getting paid about 50 million. Oh, you're you, oh, you supporting small businesses, is that what you're doing? Correct. You know. All right, cool. Well, one day. AJ, big yourself up. Looking forward to the fight. Um, so it's going to be a tough one, you know. AJ, don't mess this one up. No, I don't think it will be a tough one, you know. No. Nah, the other guy's not heavy. He's not even really a real heavyweight. But he's a very clever fighter. He's a very clever fighter, man. Yeah. You're sick. But I don't know if he's ready. He's not. I don't. Think he's, I don't think he's. I don't man. think he's ready though. He's not just for his level, but don't underrate him that much. Don't. Don't. No. No. Don't no, underrate. No. Sorry. Like no one uh, at that level. No one at that level. Like brothers, one punch can do damage. Yeah? yeah. But just play your game. Do your game right, and you should win this. He's not a natural heavyweight. Yeah. He's so... not a natural heavyweight. So, yeah. So, so, which means he's he's quicker then. He's yeah. quicker. He's a, but he's a very clever fighter. Very very clever fighter as well. Yeah, but I, also, I don't think the speed thing matters like that. It's like when David Hay stepped up to heavyweight. Like remember back in the day when David Hay wasn't a heavyweight, he had the haymaker. Like he was yeah. one banging people mm. for fun. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Came up yeah. to heavyweight. You don't have you, you don't have the power. Yeah, I don't think you should yeah. knock out Joshua. But if it goes to points. It could, get, then, it could get risky. Yeah, but no, no, I think because AJ's at home, that's where it gets... It's, it's, like it's not, you've it's not, got to beat the champ. Yeah, it's not even that. You, you know when um, AJ lost against that... Would we, is it Rodriguez? The Mexican guy. Who's the Mexican oh. guy? <laughs> some any Spanish name. Man is well, from some any Spanish well, what's name. His, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, it's not Rodriguez, but I know it's who you're Rodriguez. talking about. Hold on one second. Fabio, please Google his it's name. It's definitely not Rodriguez. Well, it's not it's, Rodriguez. It's, well, it starts with R. I'm sure he does. Riri, Riri, Rio Costa. No, Rui Costa. Like oh my God, what is going on <laughs> with this brother? <laughs> Bruv, just say something before you. Junior, Junior, Ruiz Junior, Ruiz Junior, yeah. Ruiz Junior, Ruiz. Yeah, yeah. Ruiz. And, and Andy Ruiz. Yeah. And that, that, that's pretty close. Is it? Oh, <laughs> Rui Costa <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, bro. But right, listen, but now, but but you got to remember on on a rematch. So David, David, hey, um, Anthony just went to back to basics. You know, basic training. He didn't go into that whole. Oh, I'm going to smash him up. He went for all the points. He did a clinch call. And to be fair, everyone who's fighting now, who is not Tyson Fury or Wilder. He should be doing the Klitschko concept because you can't afford to get knocked out. No, you, you can't. To... But I will. I will say one of the reasons he got beaten by Ruiz, because remember he wasn't planning to fight Ruiz. He didn't plan to fight Ruiz. Remember? Yeah, that was the last minute. It was the so last get... minute thing. Yeah. He was so... fighting. What's his name? Big boy, Jerome Miller. Yeah, yeah. He was supposed Jerome to be fighting him, and right. at yeah. the last minute it got changed because Jerome Miller did drugs or something. Right. Yeah. That, correct. So if you're fighting someone who you don't know. 
you should go into your professional style. No, I don't, I don't even know if he, that's what I'm saying. He should, but I don't even know. I can't remember what the turnover was. I'm sure it was quite short. Like Old in a sense, like in a sense of he only had like a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. okay like okay, I don't okay, think like, enough, so yeah. obviously you've got one man that's a bit taller. He fights a certain way. Then now you've got a shorter man who does a total different stance, I think. And AJ, to be honest, I guess he didn't do what he should have done. Yeah, he did it. He, he, he thought it'd be a breeze. He thought it'd yeah. be a breeze. Because Andy yeah. Ruiz, Ruiz, sorry, he... He came out as a base. He just started swinging. No, he, he had no history, really. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So he thought, it's, it's going to be a breeze, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, to me, it's just, like, again, hopefully he goes into the Klitschko stance because Klitschko was known for... I'm just going to get a point and be the world champion for like 10 years. Yeah, but we don't, we don't want to, I don't want to see yeah, him. No, but, no, but you, no, no, no. But for someone who you, you don't forget, he has to face him because everybody's Tyson Fury and all that. It's a long thing. So he cannot afford for that to kind of, that kind of defeat to happen to him again because that would just wreck him. When, wreck is his the, career. when is the Fury fight? Is it next month or November or something? Yeah, next month. Next month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I can't, yeah, let's let's hope and put. It I'm seeing this fury in wider than I'm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just hope and put yeah. it to bed, boy. Let's hope and put it to bed. Pause. All right. Um. So yeah, guys, fighting sometimes doesn't prosper, guys. All right. Um. And that's in all three of them: Jar Rule, Fat Joe, <laughs> and Bouncer versus Arms. <laughs> like it's bad. I don't know. It's bad. It's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's talk about some winners out here. So we had the GRM rated awards last week. Um. Any of you watch it? Of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. I, I, I can't I believe I didn't it. watch it. Also, I, I didn't watch, watch it. I didn't watch it. I don't know why yeah, I, I didn't watch it. it. Again, I but sent you, it to you in the group, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched oh. the link that you gave me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Porn King, bruv. He just doesn't PK. respect... PK. don't respect my links, bruv. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> you know what it was, Kel? I feel like you're doing a Kel, like, nah, but you didn't even put, like, an explanation what the YouTube link was. You just posted... No, link. that's not me. I, that's, that's what you were dissing me for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know it's for me. You didn't at me. No, no, I didn't at you. I didn't at you. All right, but we had a few winners. Um, I'll quickly talk about some of them. Gets one album of the year with conflict of interest. Standard. Female artist that? of the year, Georgia Smith. I feel like she Come can't on. do nothing wrong. Come Male on. artist of the year was Central C. I, I don't know. Central C. I know. That, that's baffling. I know he's a West man. Big yeah. up. West he also, man, but, he, he also yeah. got breakthrough artists of the year. Central C is, is it a, a mixed race white guy? Yeah, um, mixed race, mixed mixed race, race white guy. Mixed race white, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't I know, know what you mean. Sure. He looks, he looks, yeah, I know what you mean. No, no, he's, he's, he's mass. No, he's massive. Yeah, he's I don't, massive, I don't, yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's I don't know. He's massive. Yeah. Um, track of the year was "Body" by T.O. Wayne and Russ Millions. And and they won also on video of the year, mixtape of the year. It's a pot of paper for training day three. Charlie Sloth won DJ of the Year again for like the sixth time in seven years or something. How, how is that even possible? Producer of the Year was M1 on the beat and the Legacy Award went to Heartless Crew. Um, it was all right, but I didn't like that it was all virtual. Was it? It's still a because of the whole COVID thing. Yeah, it was all virtual, brother. It was all virtual. And then, like, the reason why it made me laugh is because originally, um, what's his name? Oh, my God. What was it? Just Elba. It just Elba was supposed to be presenter, isn't it? Oh, Michael. Took yeah, over. and then he gave it to Michael Dapper because he said he can't do it. I was like, huh? But did you do you man? Listen, I'm not a hater. I love what Michael Dapper is doing. Um, I, but I used to post his videos in the, in the groups all the time because he makes me laugh in it. But I think Michael Dapper, he's not a naturally funny guy. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like he has to rehearse to be funny. Like as a host, he, I didn't laugh once. Like there, there was nothing. He had no. Uh, charisma. Yeah, it was, you know what I mean? it was a bit, it was a bit yeah. flat. It was a bit flat. It was very flat. That like, was more, that like, Modern Community's got a natural, you know what I mean? And uh, Richard Blackwood, they got a natural, but Michael Dapper is all, full, it's like, he, he has to be prepared for it. I think, Did you it? know, they, they could have get to my man. Oh, uh, what is his name? You know, I don't even remember his name. The one from Zimbabwe. The one Yeah, who, Munya. Munya, Munya bro. So, yeah. Oh, bruv, yeah, that, that's next Munya year. Would, Munya would kill it because you see yeah. that guy, yeah? Bruv, his his thought process is so quick. Bruv, something can happen today. A video will be recorded, uploaded by two o'clock tomorrow of him doing this little sketch. You're like, what? Like, I'm talking, I'm, we're not talking like dodgy little videos that we used to have back in the day for Channel U. Yeah. No offense to you, Kel. That wasn't French shade or nothing. <laughs> um, Kel, your, your videos were sick. You get me? They are filmed in the equivalent of 4K. Demo. All right, moving on, moving on. Moving but on. I mean, yeah. like, you know, like, just. 
bro, his yeah. videos are top quality, bro. Edited yeah. everything. Yeah. No, nah, he's... Nah, nah, he's, he's a poet. Even, yeah. even, 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 I might like poet to host because poet, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, Chucky, up, right? yeah, yeah, Chucky, you know what I mean? Like, just someone because, like I said, I'm not hating on Michael Dow, but I just don't feel, I don't know, I just don't I think, think he's got that natural host, it, hosting. He um, does need, he does need to go to some classes, yeah, the 100 percent, yeah, yeah. But big him up, you get me. Uh, yeah, we, big also, him up, big him up. we also had the Emmys, which was the 73rd one, which was on Sunday. Um, my one of my favorite shows won like the work. Basically, there's no point in me going through everything, but basically, the shows that smashed it was Ted Lasso on Apple TV and also The Crown on Netflix. Basically, they just won bare awards like That's absolutely cool. bare awards. But I see, I see them, boy. No, nah, obviously, you don't have Apple TV, but please go and watch yeah. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso, like, generally, I laugh out loud. Like, what is I, it? Yeah, it's. I spoke about it, I think, before. It's like a little bit like Dream Team, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I spoke yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Ted Lasso's good, man. I, I, every week I watch it, and every week I like, I pop a bus up. And it's got, what's his name in it as well? Um, KG, the comedian. You remember the one who used to be, oh my God, you know the one who used to be on the roller skates back in the day? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, my yeah, guy, my yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in it yeah. as well. He's in it as well. Yeah. Now it's good. It's, it's definitely funny. Um, yeah, so Ted Lasso. And yeah, big up the crown. I haven't watched one episode of the crown to be honest, but I know it does mad numbers on Netflix. Yeah, I think. Oh no, it does mad numbers. It definitely does yeah. mad numbers. People love the royals. I was getting confused with uh, Bridgerton. It's, it's... Yeah, no, no, cra- yeah, the crown. That's the. I think they got. That's the royal high. family. Actually, yeah. the royal family. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that was Emmys. Um, we got two RIPs this week. <clears throat> well, there's obviously more. So, but you know. Sure, Cole. Cheryl Cole. What's her, what's, her, what's her name? Michaela Cole. Didn't she win an award? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, bro. We were talking about RIPs. You're like Michaela Cole. That's, bro. A, that's an RIPs. No, sorry. Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Michaela Cole. Cole. I was like, what? Oh, what? I wish like, she death upon these people, That's what I'm bro. saying. You know, like I was thinking, nah, bro. That didn't come on my news feed, bro. <laughs> Instagram slapping, <laughs> bro. Like, let's change the whole, the whole ethos of the thing. Um, yeah, Michaela Cole, she did win something for her... Bro. I'm saying, bro. Her show, but to be fair, I can't remember what her what she won an award for. But I know she did a good speech. I may destroy you. That's but do, I you, destroy do, you, you. do you think she looks a bit nervous and stuff? Like she 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 comes across to me as someone very confident in herself and very um, she's very scripted. assured. She's very scripted. but like when she's reading this, when she's reading her speech, she looks seems so nervous and um fragile. She seems very fragile on stage. I I think yeah, I, you know that some not alter egos, but I think. Say maybe how she presents herself on some of the shows, or whatever. It isn't necessarily how she is within her person. Mm. I don't know. And there was some talk. I went on Instagram today. There was some talk that she they reckon that she got her nose job, nose job, and her chin done. Oh, uh, is I, it? Yeah, I'm not like whatever. They they pictures that look like it, but I I, I don't body shame, bro. Do what you want in it. It's your body. Like, but it was a bit okay. Cool. Everyone's doing it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah everyone is. It. Everyone is out there. Um, sorry. Like I said, we do have RIPs. Um, the RIP first goes out to the former Spurs legend Jimmy Greaves. Um, he passed away. Like I actually went to Spurs on Sunday. I watched Spurs versus Chelsea. How dare you? Yeah, I know, I know. I was mad. Like, but what you know end? what? I was in Tottenham. Why? I-, I wanted to see the stadium, bro. Like, I wanted to see the stadium, and my brother had a ticket, so I went in it. I enjoy football. I'll be honest with you. Did, did you like have like a, no, a no, shower no, like no, ten no. times? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, don't get me wrong. I went in there like obviously I, I, can't, I can't wear an Arsenal shirt, and I think, but I did go in there with a red top and red trainers. Red Arsenal socks, like. nah, red top and red <laughs> trainers, bruv. I'm not beefing no one, bruv. Them Spurs fans are awful, but and like you know, like I had to do that thing. Like every time Chelsea scored, I was like, oh for goodness sake, come on! Like, like, yeah. Inside, inside, I'm busting up. And then Shagan looks at me, yeah. yeah. I think when the third goal went, Are you with yeah, when the third goal went, oh, for fuck's sorry, I just you for F's sake. He looks at me, goes, Nate, too much, too much, too much. <laughs> I was busting up. I was busting up. Well, proper, proper what they called. Bro, I was one of them in, in two Undercover, bro. you know. Undercovers, bro. But yes, pick up Shakes. <laughs> Thanks for taking me. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Shakes. Oh, happy birthday, That's Shakes. Was he 51? Yeah, I'll leave it at that. That is not, but I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, but we did have another death this week, which was a little bit... I don't know. It, it just seemed weird. 
um, um, he died at 55, and that was a jo- AJ, which is Anthony Johnson. Yeah, okay, man. and you might know him from Friday. Friday. He was also in House Party. He was in stuff like How to Be a Player, The Players Club, Woo, like films that we grew up on. Man. You get me? No, I got the whole. Car. He was that guy. He was our like Kevin Hart back yeah. in the day. That was our like Kevin Hart. Yeah, and he was. In, I mean? Yeah, he was definitely for me. He was definitely good. He was still doing films like today. Apparently, he did. I got the hookup too the other day. I don't watch it, but like you know, he was in a few things. Where he was in Moesha, um, Def Comedy Jam, Martin. Like he was good, man. Like Jamie Foxx show. Yeah, this is the thing. I don't remember him apart from Friday and House Party. Yeah, no, was... he, he had a run. He had a run, Rich. Where he was in all those films. He had a run. Where oh, okay. he was that guy in it. That it yeah. Yeah. So I remember him, man. Like, like growing up um, in the area, like we used to like proper love, love, love watching him. Mm. Like proper, like we used to like say his jokes to each other. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, them ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I, but definitely, like I said, the one way he used to get smoky. Someone taking the shit out here, like that. That. Don't like... sh- keep quiet. Don't <laughs> shut. And then when, when smoky, he... take the shit out of here. When he's in the shop and he tries to pretend to slip on the water. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my back, oh. <laughs> my back, my neck, my back. Yeah, like he's, yeah, no, he was. So yeah, that was yeah. that was sad to get me. R.I.P. Him. Um, we had a couple trailers come out this week. Um, the trailer for Power Book Two Ghost Series Two is out, and that's due to come out in November. I think November the twenty first. Fifty's not messing about, you know. He's, no, he's not, not messing about, bro. And I this is it. what he wanted with the Power Universe. This is what yeah. he wanted with the Power Universe. Yeah, back to back, back to yeah. back. You know, I'm yeah. quite looking forward to Power Book 2, to be honest. Like, I, I, like, I like the first series. And yeah, I think definitely. it'll be needed after the end of this series. Um, I don't know if any of you lot um, are into it. Did any of you ever watch The Sopranos? <laughs> not religiously. No, but, but the film's no, coming not out, religiously. Yeah, the film's coming out. The prequel, uh, isn't it? Yeah, the prequel, The Many Saints of Newark. Newark. That's coming out, I think, this week, to be honest. Okay. You I feel like... It. Did you watch it? Did you, did you watch it? No, nah, you know it was. I watched series one and maybe two of. That's what. Uh, I, yeah, when it was on BBC and, Two, I think it was. And then I think it? I stopped. Yeah, like, yeah that's I like started. me. I stopped. You know but, what um, it is like. It's a lot of people's number one. You know, a, yeah, lot, they people, love a it. lot of people put it as number one. Like they, that's they their do, number one yeah. of all love time. It. But yeah. you know what it is? I, I'm not. I'm not into the mafia thing properly. Like I don't really, you know, like that kind like, of. Like Godfather of Harlem, as far as I go. As far <laughs> as I go, and even then, I still get a little bit upset yeah. because the Italians just be trying to move mad, and I'm like, yeah. no, I don't like it. Like I don't like it. But yeah, and actually, you know, the main oh my gosh, what is his name? You know, the main character in Tony Soprano, like the actor that played him. Obviously, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not with us anymore. But it's his yeah, actual, possibly time ago. His actual son is is playing in the prequel. Oh, oh, is it? it? Yeah, yeah. His character, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's his. I don't know if it maybe it is his character, but it's the act- his actual birth son. Like, I was about to say he pushed him out, but you can't do that. But you know, like, well, he, yeah, whatever. You know, you know, you know the birds and bees work. Yeah. But his actual seed, like, he's doing that. Yeah, you are. Right. It's him as well. Let's check the picture. It is him. Yeah, it's him, man. Um, but yeah, S- S- Sopranos. I always wanted to watch it, but I don't, when I always saw six seasons, I ran away from it, bro. Bro, talking of like six seasons, yeah. Shout out Merv, because for years we've been trying to tell Merv about Money Heist and he's been batting away. Nope, never going to watch it, never going to watch it, never going to watch it. Started watch the other day. Bro, I think he could all be on season four by now, bro. He is... A... <laughs> but wish you don't watch it, do you? No, no, I don't watch it. You're another one. The thing is, the thing is, okay. I genuinely believe at the time you and Merv were like, nope, nope, not going to watch it. Yeah? Merv watched a couple episodes. Merv couldn't stop watching it. I stick I'm to so pissed word. I haven't watched one yet, you know. I'm so pissed of the new season. I haven't seen oh, any of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got obviously, until December. Yeah, when everything's set up, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely watch him. Yeah, no. You why, why have I got to... Why, why is it December? Because it's two parts. So basically... Oh. Wait, so they've only done the first five episodes. Okay. And then basically the second part, the second five are going to come out December the 5th. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Sopranos is only like 13 episodes, you know? Yeah, but not in that, not in each season. I don't think. No, I don't know. I I, I don't know. Is it the same in each? Season? No, it, yeah, it is. Uh, up until five, then um, season six is twenty one. Yeah, so you could watch that. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I can do that. You know, cheers. Yeah. All right. Cool. After right. work, though, Rich, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I'm way too busy to do that. 
You are way too busy. But yes, um, also shout out everyone that got involved in the discussion last week about um, the Channel 4, um, them doing the black shows. But- you know you know what I love about us, yeah? When we argue, yeah? Like, we argue, but we still bust joking between. I don't know yeah. if you noticed that. Yeah, like, yeah, my, yeah. My, my cousin was saying, like, you guys argue about serious topics, but you still have time to poke fun at each other in between <laughs> the arguments. Like, what's wrong with you, look? This is our natural kept. That's how we are, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, standard. Yeah. But also that you know it's it's, ne- it's never that deep. You know the ones there. It's not. It's yeah, not yeah, a beef yeah, thing. It's not a beef yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like we're we're trying to argue our points because we're. Do you know what I mean we're passionate about it? But it's not a beef thing. Um, I would just like to shout out one of my boys from football. It almost because well, he because well, he backed you. No, he it backed almost, you. That's no, you're no, no. Out. It almost came to blows on on Monday, bro. On Monday that football, bro. Like what? I thought he I thought he wasn't doing enough. Yeah, I said, bro, you need to track back. You just stop talking to me like I'm your child, bro. Like, well, nah, bro, you know, like it got passionate. I was like, bro, I'm not, you know, like, but we're all big men. I'm not backing yeah. down. We're not backing yeah. down. Come on. Yeah, in the end, like one or two passes, he's like, Nate, you know, it's all love, bro. It's just, I just get passionate about the football. I said, nice, cool, bro. It's not that. Well, Nate, it was one of those ones like, somebody hold me back, please. <laughs> 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 Bruv, I plead the fifth because he might well, he might listen to this. You get me? I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to jump me at football next week, Monday. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yes, all right, cool. Let's get some TV and film. All right, Power Book Three: Raising Canaan, Episode Nine. Okay, loyal to the end. Deep man, like big it's, episode. It's big episode. Big episode. Big episode. Like now, it's getting good. It's getting now it's good. Getting, it's now it's good. good. You know what I mean? I feel um, like t- TV this week turn up. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Every program we talk about normally turn up this week. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm behind. I'm behind everything. It did turn but, up. Um, yeah, I make sure I watch Power. Um, no, it was, good, it was a good. It was a good episode, man. Good, like, there's too many deep parts to it, man. All right, let's let's talk about. All right, so although she she disrespects Marvin all the time, yeah, and she made much. She she treats like Marvin like an idiot, and Marvin's really the bigger brother. Yeah, Marvin came out this week and he said, "Nah." I'm on it. Came out, machine gun, just, just firing, bro. But, but do you know what's funny? Typical Marvin, the car would be bulletproof, isn't it? No, typical Marvin, he didn't kill no one. No one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was like, man had a Rambo machine gun, yeah? And it, it didn't work with not one soul. Not one person. But he, he tried to make his point, in it? He tried to make his point. <laughs> So you give him that. You give him that. Um, Raquel, she's moving a bit mad. I don't know why she's trying to fight her man for. Like, what's the matter of her? Yeah, he makes that. She she just goes into serious defensive mode when it comes to family. Yeah, I but, hear but, you. But but not really realizing that that her boyfriend, what's his name again? I can't remember. Symph- 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 Symphony. Symphony. He technically is a, probably about to be family because you guys are together. You know them ones. Mm-hmm. So it, it's and, he, and he's not left-handed, so that's always a positive. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's not left-handed. He's definitely yeah. not left-handed. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I think she, she can't help but go into defense mode, and he can't, he can't take it to heart. But it's it's easier said than done, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But but, but did you know when um, Lou is in hospital? Don't you think he's, the makeup for his burn is is awful for his burns? Yeah, even Marvin's one was all Marvin's makeup was a bit yeah, bad. It's just well. like it's like, like red paint you just, you just put on your face. That's like, that's, oh, no, nah, man's been burnt. And, be and, and, and I didn't think that that, that that Latina girl was really like ride or die, but she was there, boy. No, nah, but she's, I don't think she's really ride or die. Alternative, alternative bro, motive, even bro. last week, she was like, all right, so, so now you got the money, and da, 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 where are you gonna put my brother on? Where are you gonna put my brother yeah, on? I was nah. thinking, nah, bro. Alternative fall motive, back, bro. Fall yeah, back. She, Oh, should I take over the record studio while you're away? Like, yeah, should I, got, should I t- come on, man. She, she got a full back. She got a full back. Um, I, I'm going to jump slightly, yeah? And I apologise. Howard, yeah? He's annoying me. Like, allow it, yeah? Which was Howard again? Howard yeah, is man. the police yeah. officer. Yeah. Oh, my. Wow. Yeah? But Sorry, I will... It's not, it's not going to annoy you anymore, is it? Well, well, we don't know that. We don't know. Apparently, I see... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. What do you mean? What do you mean? But what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> go on then. Go on then. 
draw for the tool. No, no, no. Nah, I don't know. That thing is obviously that like Kanan, I don't know if he's a, I don't think he's a striker yet. So I don't know if he is. But I nah, will just... he, he might to me, he might to me. Might to me. Mm. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, listen, listen, okay, listen. cool. I, I'll just say mm. Ex- explain it. Yeah, go on, go on. No, the only reason I say that is because like you know the trailer for next week's episode come out already, yeah? Like, and there's a bit where like they're wheeling him into the hospital. Like he's on the 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 bed, wheel him in. When you're dead, you don't need to be ruled in. You get zipped up in a body bag, bro. Like you're there's no wheeling you in anywhere. You know, I don't see no, I don't see trailers, you know. I don't find it. But I will say this, yeah. Kanan, yeah. If Kanan has murked him, yeah. 50 has made Kanan to be the ultimate killer, yeah. Oh, come on. The, no, no, yeah. no. I don't think you'd have taken him. The man has killed his dad and has killed his son. But, but oh. True, but listen, listen. To be fair, he has no idea that's his dad. Yeah, it's not. Well, I hear that, but I mean, like you, you've taken your dad out and you've taken your yeah. son out. Nah, that means talk. you have, bro. Ghost had no chance. Yeah, we'll talk. you get me. Ghost we'll, and Tommy we'll had no chance. If Kanan Manu- was, Kanan was cold, you know, like in power. Like, when you think about it, he was a cold guy. Yeah, bloodline cold. No, but yeah, but obviously, I, I, I think obviously there's, there's a lot more to Kanan to come, but it'll probably we will understand how why how cold he is, because because you never know he could eventually find out he killed his he killed his own dad if he did kill him. Yeah, and, I think he will. Fi- I think you have to find out. It's not otherwise. What is the point of the story? No, I get that, but to me, Raquel, his mum. Oh, she's a devil right there. No, but you know what she's trying to do, though. That's why she made him wear the jacket. Yeah, but there's no justification for that. Yeah, no, well, obviously, no, not about the dad, but she made him wear the jacket so it looks like he the, he killed the, the police officer. So when the police find out, the police are going for him, innit? No, Who correct. killed the police officer? Um, remember, Shaq. Is it not Shaq? Is no, it? man, Unique. Unique, sir. You remember, he, you remember Shaq, he was wearing yeah. the white jacket that said Unique on the back? Yeah, and Louis stole it from the car in last se- the last episode. Yeah, so he was wearing Unique's jacket. Oh, so when he murked yeah, him, yeah, 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 he's gonna yeah, say, yeah. "Look, he was wearing Unique's jacket. It was Unique." Yeah, and that's yeah, why yeah, that's yeah. why Harrod said, "That's not your jacket," because he's yeah. seen Unique wear it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I don't know. I, I to me, I, I hope he killed Howard because I don't want that to continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's story. That storyline is weak, isn't it? It's a yeah, weak yeah. He t- to me, you're dead now. It's cool. Oh, if he's still alive, oh, oh, I'm your dad. I'll, I'll smash my TV, bro. <laughs> Do you reckon it'd be like, it? like a Star Wars thing? <laughs> Kanan, <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh my gosh. Two no, to yeah, the but... chest and one to where his brain used to be. <laughs> Sorry, Rekha was mad. You know, but you know what? She She's a serious gangster. They must have forgot who they were dealing with. Well, the way they merged that that guy, that landlord, bro, in the, in the flat the other day, the other week. Oh, when they put him in the building? <laughs> yeah, put him in the building. That's deep, you know. Bro, you, are you still that, that reminded it? me of some. What, what do you mean? Uh, you, you haven't seen that part with him before? No, just, remember, Ke- remember Kel's catching up, didn't it? Kel ain't oh, been on see, it. Oh, much. See, yeah. see, see, see. Oh, that one was that was so. But the thing is, you see how they didn't wrap his body up at all. Just, just I know, bro. Deep, man. Just bro, checked him in there. That building I said there's a sm- film like that. That building but, should yeah. be smelling right now, bro. Why are you in it? The building, yeah, the, the building should be smelling. Jukebox. I felt like I felt like Marvin took he took the piss. Because, like, I think deep down Marvin knew Jukebox was a lesbian all the time. So I don't know why he's acting like that. Yeah, well, then even when he's trying to punch, like he grabbed her by the neck, he's like, You want to be an N, but do you get me? I'm treating you like one. You knew that she was mandem. So why yeah. are you acting up for? Yeah. But you know what? Can we all agree Marvin's a horrendous actor? He out of the out of everyone, he's the worst. He, he's he's not a good actor at all. He, I'm like, he's the worst, man. Like, I, bl- I blame 50. I, bl- I blame the lions. Bro, listen, that, that strangling scene, I'm like, it's like, bro, I can see no pressure you put on, on your daughter's neck. Yo, what bro. are you doing? Bro, Porn King is really trying to stay, you know. He's like, I didn't see no pressure. I like when they're applying pressure on the neck. No, bro, it's not a Matt, scene, bro. Man, man wanted to see the veins <laughs> popping out of her forehead. No, but, <laughs> but you could tell. You could tell. I think, I think honestly, he's like, I, I can't. I know he was in a, 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 an, another show from previously and um, before this, but he's acting. In was it this... Black Lightning? <laughs> no, he wasn't. 
<laughs> but, but honestly, his acting is really, really poor and poor in his show. Um, but yeah, with the jukebox thing, um, you know what's going to happen? She's going to sleep with that policewoman, isn't it? I've got a feeling yeah, that's yeah. going to happen because the policewoman was saying she's a lesbian as well. Oh, is it? Is that what you want to happen, Rich? Told you. Oh, hey, the maddest thing is, yeah, you know, like the audience can't see your name, yeah? But I would just like to keep on putting this out here. He renamed himself Porn King. Porn King. It's not more yeah. Richard, Richard Maximus, man. Yeah, it's there's PK. no Richard Maximus. PK, bro. Yeah, yeah. PK in the house, yeah? Shit, is there anything you need to know? Just let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pause that, pause that. But yeah, um... <laughs> But no, nah, but that was deep. Though. The way, and all those poor acting and stuff, the way Matt Marvin grabbed his daughter, like your own daughter, mm. like choking her out. Nah, man, you can't do that, bro. You anyway, can't you know do what? that. Man. Yeah. So in Mar- he's in ballers. He's in ballers. Ah, uh, yeah, he's in ballers. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, of course, you can't you can't choke at your daughter. But again, to me, the dinner family for the gangsters. You know, it, I know it's unacceptable and all that kind of stuff, but. It's America. So did, did, you, did you book Stitch on them, yeah? No. Nah. Well, she... No. Nah. She, said, she said that the police are coming for you to the policewoman, isn't it? No, no, yeah. we're coming for you. That's, that's what she told them. Um, yeah, the but the, I, ain't see, I ain't see that plan. They're not coming for them. That, neither do I, but I, I don't know why she said that. I don't know why she said that. Because when she spoke to the policewoman, she said that um, they're coming for you. Like, okay, yeah. where have you got that from? And then when she spoke to Raquel, she said, oh, I didn't say anything. But you kind of did, because I don't I don't understand the meaning behind that. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you, them two are going to sleep, sleep together. And that's how she becomes a police officer. What, because she's... Mm. No, no, no. There's something... There's going to be... Because right now, you can't see her being a police officer at all, following her friend's death, right? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I know she was a police officer in the show. But was she a police officer? Do you know what I mean like I can't remember was she an actual no, she police was, officer? She was, she was, yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Was she, she was. not just a corrupt cop as well? Like, yeah, yeah obviously. No, but obviously. She, had, no, she had loyalty to Canaan only. Because that's like, her cousin. That's her first cousin. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I, have, I think she's very, she's very, she's a very angry kid. To be fair, well, come on, it's it's, it's rightly so, man. Rightly come so. Come on, the '90s, you're a lesbian. Already, you're you're. You get me, you know your I mean? girl. You had your little video with you and your girl singing in the, the thing. Like that's your one little thing. That mm. even that singing thing reminded me of an episode of Fresh Prince where they go and take her to the. Remember, they take Ashley Vivian. to the yeah to the. Oh, to, it was Ashley to the mall. Oh yeah, yeah. And she does her thing, but I just thought like the dad's out of order. We smashing the videotape for. Well, listen, if your dad doesn't know that you are gay. It's it's, a, it's something hard to accept. It's like I said, especially in the nineties, bro. Nah, bro. All parents it's very are, difficult. I think all parents know, you know, deep down. Huh? No. Well, you don't want to. And this is the thing. Uh, okay. Until it happens to us, um, we have we have. Uh, I'm not saying. It, listen. <laughs> yeah, carry on, bro. Carry on, bro. No, but do you know what I mean? You know. It's a yeah, so of... um, what I was thinking is, yeah. <laughs> but what about? I don't, I don't want to dig anything. You can't bother to dig anything. No, don't dig anything. Don't dig anything. <laughs> don't dig anything. Yeah. Um, my girl's parents, Unique's partner's parents. Yeah. Yeah. The mm-hmm. mum, she's moving wild, bruv. Not sorry. I know, bro. Duke, but Duke boxes. Sorry, Duke boxes girlfriend. Yeah. The yeah, mum, the mum's girl, moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. The mum's moving wild, bro. Mad, bro. Jukebox like, is the reason but, why she's dead. But the, listen, I think that's any mother's reaction, to be honest with you. I hear that, but you know that, again, and the dad is the only person that's being rational. Babe, yeah, yeah he's, he, he, babes, he knows. He knows. You don't he know knows, that, you know? babes. Like, yeah. I think he was more exceptional than being a lesbian anyway. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you said, some your parents know. But that's why I think she knew deep down as well. No, no, no. To be fair, the mum did know. And, and she always placed blame on the other person should always yeah. place blame on another person. Yeah, she, she she knew. Yeah. But yes, I think for me, next week is the season finale. Yeah. And I think okay. there are probably some things. A will oh, Kanan, next week, yeah. Yeah, the tenth okay. episode. Will Kanan know that he was Howard's son? What's gonna happen to Unique? What's gonna happen to the war? What's what's the beef? Yeah. And yeah, who cause... do you think is not making out of season one, bro? Like someone has to go before the end of season one. I think Marvin, and I'd be I really think Marvin, yeah, yeah, I'd be more Marvin. than happy for him to go. 
Yeah. Also, yeah, I might, Jubo, my, Jubo, not even Jubo, so it kills him, you know. Yeah, could possibly. Possibly, but I will also say, I don't know if any of you noticed it, this was the first episode of the series where there was no sex. Oh, shit. None. No one getting head or anything? No? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, there must be I'm trying to think. We're just thinking, no, we're like a sneaky head. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing. No, 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 no PK nope. entertainment. Nope. There was nothing this week, <laughs> brother. Nothing at all this week. See, love the kissy kissy, brother. I reckon next week they're gonna go double or nothing, double or quits. <laughs> they're gonna put. They're gonna put. They're gonna go all out, out bro. Yeah. All out from the beginning, from scene one, bro. Trust but yeah, Power Book season finale next week should be good. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, guys. We had what if? Okay. And episode six, like I said, every episode this se- episode this week, ton up. Okay, we had the return of Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, and the episode was entitled "What If Killmonger Rescued Tony Stark." Yeah. First of all, I'd have liked to have said they could have made this into a movie. This could have been a whole two-hour episode. I would have been fine with Proper. it. Yeah. I would have been fine. Yeah. No, it was big, but I'm a bit confused. What was Killmonger's powers? Before he, he became Black Panther. Because Matt right. picked up a missile and dashed into the heavens to save Tony Stark. What? How do you do that? No, he didn't have any powers. Yeah, yeah he, problem, he's, he's, he's never had done. powers. You know the Stark missile that yeah, came? Yeah, you're right. In, yeah, in the beginning, and yeah. But I dashed it to the, to the heavens, bro. Like, he got some... I was, I was confused. Oh, yeah. that, I, I didn't really clock I didn't really, really clock that, to be fair. Yeah, I was, I was baffled out of her. Somebody's got powers. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think he has got any powers. He didn't have any powers. Well, he shouldn't have had any powers. Yeah. Yeah. He was just like a random mercenary, innit? Yeah. yeah. But, but you see that you see how to follow the exact scene how it was in um Iron Man itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, and I, there there was there was um obviously he rescued um Tony Stark and then um he befriended Tony and they became close and then he started... exploited him, boy. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. But and there was one point where when Killmonger came out to who who really was to Tony Stark, I was thinking, Tony, just go and get your outfit then. I was just like, what are you waiting for? Like, and I, f- I, I forgot. <laughs> you know when you forget, he's just Tony Stark. There's no, he didn't get to that yeah, point where yeah, he was exactly. kidnapped. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? I was yeah, thinking, yeah. go on, get your outfit. Like become Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I fully enjoyed it. I fully enjoyed this week. No, it, it, it was definitely a good episode. And like you said, I could watch a, a full blown two hour version of this in in film format or and it'd be good to see film. how like the sister and what's her name Pip, Pip what's her name Pippa Pippa like you know what I mean get him and stuff and catch him out yeah like, I, no, it, was, it was good man and obviously Killmonger is the one baddie that I don't mind him mm. you know what I mean surviving if that makes sense yeah so, yeah I, I definitely, and then even when you saw Bozeman again, like we saw um, Black Panther again, even for only a little, little cameo. I just, I like I said, it, it had me gassed, man. Like it had me, a, it was a gassed episode. Mm. Like it was gassed. I'm not even going to tell you when I watched it. I did watch it on the Wednesday, but I thought it was good. And like him even going to Wakanda, telling people he's part of the Wakandans and then becoming Black Panther, the ancestral plane. Then him just kind of taking over, basically. Yeah, then even yeah. when you had um, Claws, the Andy Serkis, Andy Serkis, he, yeah. he was in it. I just thought it was probably like nice, no, sick. No, I, I, I think, I think out of some of the what if do we think? I think this has seemed more realistic. Mm. And, um, and, maybe, and I don't know, maybe think. like I thought to myself, maybe it's because we were more invested in it because we like Killmonger. I don't know, like I don't know what it is. Like but the way my, Killmonger murked off Black Panther so easily, I was like, mm, I didn't really like that part. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But like, he was tactically moving to everybody like that. Yeah. Like they made him, they made him into a proper assassin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I feel like Shuri and that, like, it would be interesting to see how they do it. And and they definitely ended it in the sense of there could be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I there's no way they can leave it just like that. I, I, I reckon could, an episode and a second part, a part two, maybe in the second series. Of what if? You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, but how, I don't know how quick, how how long the second series is going to take to put together, but they can't hold out for too long because you just... No, like, but it's not, they've still got a couple of episodes. I reckon you probably get away with this next year sometime. 
Yeah, but it's only for you know when it's something it's only for thirty minutes, and it's not just about one show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very different. Do you know what I mean? That would be a bit of a struggle. But definitely, if they did something on the back of this, but then again, it'd be a bit too confusing for everyone. <laughs> I think it would be. It's a bit mad. This is actually not real, but it is. Or what if? Yeah. All right. Who who do you reckon? Like, if you were to say you would like a character to be in the part of the What If series, who do you reckon you'd want to be in there? Like any MCU character, who would you would you like to be, or maybe on What If or an episode based around there? Who would you like to know more about? Hmm. Like know. obviously we've seen Thanos and stuff, but I think they could even to me, I think you could do a What If on Thanos if there wasn't a what you call it you know like um, Endgame yeah Yeah. like yeah. actually he clicked his fingers what happens next all harmony or something yeah that would be that, yeah that would be interesting like maybe Thanos just in rolling the... the roads thinking everything is cool and then he realised he, f- he effed up he made you, know what Thanos, you know what Thanos clicked his fingers yeah yeah where did half of the universe go where did they go did they, disintegrated so, because did they know that they were gone when they came back, or did they? Did, did, is there was their memory from the lot from the last moment they disappeared, or were they all together somewhere? No, no, it, uh, it was the last memory when they disappeared. That's, but they knew something had happened. Because if you remember, um, the Vision, not Vision, is it that show Scarlet Witch, when um when um the black woman's mum was yeah they, they so they fully remember they fully remember exactly what happened and and then they, i think they mention it in um on scarlet witch on uh, on the show when when the the big snap happened and they remember where they were i i know they definitely remember that mm. uh, i'll say probably uh uh, a blade and yeah, blade. What? What if blade? But I'm trying to think of a storyline that will make. But the thing is, sick. what if blade? I'm just thinking. Yeah, what would be? Yeah, what would be storyline? You're not a vampire, okay? Take care, mate. Yeah, but someone else become. But someone else become blade. Like mm. um, I don't know, like twenty like um, Hulk, Parker or something. Imagine Hulk as spider as a blade as blade. That'd be sick. Do you know what I mean? Like me, like a yeah, something mad, like there, a switch of characters, like characters. yeah, a switch of character. Like someone else becomes Blade. Do you know what I mean? Like um, I'm trying, maybe like a a Thor. I don't know. Just some a random MCU that you would never ever imagine being a, a Blade character. Do you know what I mean? That would just make it good. Mm. All right. Um, I don't know. I think there's still obviously more what ifs. I don't know what what if is about next week or tomorrow. Should I say? Um. But sorry, I, I, so one of the pods that we missed, I hope you guys saw about Morbius, right? The vampire thing that yeah. you'll see that how mm. the trailer came out like 10 years ago and still has the films have come out. Yeah. Not 10 years, but like two yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah, I think the trailer ago, yeah. came out. Like, that would be the perfect mesh, Blade and Morbius. That would be the perfect film for them to appear in each other's films and this have their own little universe, do you know what I mean? Because vampires are not in MCUs at the moment. There's no there's no sign of um, vampires at all. So it only, only makes sense. No, I know, know Morbius and Morbius and Blade came in Spider-Man, but I yeah. don't know if they ever came in um in an episode together. Um, no, but they must do that. It'll make sense. Do you know what I mean? As a, the, the for their films well, I think one hundred percent make friends. That's what I think. That's why they're delaying. Yeah, I it. think that's what they're saying. Well, Morbius is supposed to come out January next year. Yeah, but they're saying that when they put Morbius, that will be a way for them to introduce Blade. Yeah, I think over the end credits, it might nice. just show like a yeah. little. You so know what I mean? I've so I've just checked on um, YouTube because I remember the anime and the animation. Yeah, it's a Blade versus Morbius. There was a battle between them two. Yeah, but well, Morbius is Sony, isn't it? That's the thing, but I think they'll have some. They have to have it like, like, like yeah. the whole Spider Man thing. Mm-hmm. I think they'll, they'll definitely have some talks about that, and yeah, some agreements and whatnot. All right, um, 
cool. Yes, sorry, my bad. All right. Um, Star Girl, season two, episode six. All right, Should I'm gonna be honest with you. Decent episode this week. Bro, best episode of the series. Yeah, honestly, it wasn't it. Yeah. It best episode of the series, and I'll just say this, yeah. And this, you know what? You know why I love Star Girl? Like it's dumb. <laughs> But absolutely anybody can get it. Like, yeah, and I remember yeah, yeah. from series one, there is no loyalty to characters, bro. If your time is done, your time is done. You know, okay, sometimes in Flash, we might live for you out a little bit or whatever. Like, you know, that like sometimes we're like, why is he still character? The in Star Girl, if you're not supposed to be there, you're gone, bro. I liked it. Too. That's yeah. why I liked it. Courtney, shout her out, but there's no more. But I don't want to ruin it to you because obviously you haven't watched it yet. But I will say you, you, you've really ruined it for me. Oh, I, I didn't think you heard me. <laughs> you know, like the I didn't king, think you heard King me. spoiler returns. But you know, like I didn't think you heard me. Yeah, I was all right. Let me just quickly just keep on moving. Like I'll pass it on quickly. Um, but this episode's very good. Have you got anything else to add, Rich? No, it was a big episode. Um, I was like, I was presently shocked. I, I, I thought like, I messaged in a group. It's not shit girl no more. It's definitely star girl. Mm. Um. Yeah, this you know, from this episode, you know, the 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 both sides finally meet up and have a big battle, and what what um comes out of the episode, I don't know, Kel, have you seen it? We've seen in one episode yet. Yeah, I'm on um the I think I'm on the third episode probably. Okay, you know, Courtney, yeah. she has the um. That stone that she keeps on looking yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that yeah. stone manifests into somebody. Because yeah, I saw the stone manipulating her while trying to feel that she's got control. But I, we all know that basically, yeah, you got no control. The stone's just making you think. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that stone now manifests to eclipse. Is it eclipse? No, I think his name is Eclipse. Something dark in a way. Mm. I can't remember. It's <laughs> something dark in a way, and and it becomes eclipse. And you know, the the powers this guy ha- possesses. He can actually dismantle everybody with an instant. Serious, yeah. Bruv, levels, <laughs> bro. That's what I'm saying. Like he's at, like literally, like he as a as a as a baddie. And I, I know I hate using the word baddie because we're grown ups here. But he it's is a villain. L- a villain. <laughs> I like baddie. He is a bad boy. He is a bad boy. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 definitely, definitely. And even um, if you see the, the last, the, the final um, minutes of when he leaves the the building and he's just like, nah, you're, you're a G. Yeah, Eclipso, Eclipso, bad boy. It's Eclipso, Eclipse, yeah, yeah Eclipso. Eclipso, bad boy. No, yeah, definitely, definitely episode to watch. Uh, hopefully, like, this week I'll be able to catch up, man. You know, I know I've been negative about... Um, yeah, I might need you for the zip, zip. Anyway, go on. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Zip, zip, okay. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's it? Zip, zip. It's a driller. Oh, driller, no, a, a drill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the man was me. Obviously, I know I'm not an actual driller, bro. I'm not going to go around. No, we're talking about drill music, by the way, guys. Yeah, and I'm not talking about me rolling down doing drive bys. Like, I know what we mean, right, bro. So stop associating with drillers and drill and with drive bys because that's the typical stereotype that the music scene doesn't require. No, but that's what you call a driller. A driller is that guy. Oh, you would know, huh? Yeah, you told me. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> East London, baby. <laughs> um, no, no, but yeah. So I know I've been ridiculing Stargirl, but this episode, I think this is what I was waiting for, um, and just persist and continue to watch. Right? Yeah, hopefully there's 13 episodes, and I hope that you keep on. 13, 13. Oh, that means One, the rest three. of it, the rest of it's going to be weak then. No, that's what I'm saying. I hope it's not. <laughs> I hope it's not, and I hope you continue to carry on with the with the levels that we've made, bro. No, standard. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, cool. Is there anything else you man been watching? Shang Chi, right, both... come on! Oh, Shang Chi, come yeah. on! Have you watched it, yeah, yeah? man. If thought... man finally watched it, get me. Man, went oh, to the so big it's... screen. I, I thought we were gonna wait for Merv, but no, no. I'm joking. No, to be fair, Merv said he's waiting for forty five days. Forty five comes... So he hasn't to... watched it. No, oh, until, it... until it comes in the streams. Is it coming Disney Plus? Oh, because it you get a good copy in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it basically. <laughs> okay, cool. It is coming no, out of Just to say, I, I, enjoy, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it from start to finish. Really good. It was really good. Like it's, it's, fa- it's, it's proper fantasy, but 
it's, it, I don't know if it fits in the MCU world, to be honest with you, because it's too much of a fantasy film. But it was no, but a good I, watch. You, you say a, a fantasy film, but... but I, 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 know, I, 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 I know, I know, I know. But what I try to say is, let's give some business dragons and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's too fantasy, do you know what I mean, to be in the MCU world. Yeah, well, I that. think, but I think that that almost looked like, that like it wasn't historical, but it almost looked like there was things that happened, like that, like so you know, towards the end of the film, it almost looked like modern day. Do you know what them ones there? Like it was modern times. Mm. The mm. the one thing I will say about Shang Chi, which I, which upset me, were the hidden, not the hidden, the the post credit scenes. Yeah? This one, you know, because we had to rush out. But yeah. Oh, you didn't watch both of them. No, I know what's what the when they do the karaoke and that nonsense. Well, well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell me oh, what sorry. You... Karaoke doesn't say nothing. Yeah, but why are you saying it? Bro, yeah, the film has, no, the film has been out for over a month. Uh, <laughs> bro, come on, man. Like the maddest thing is here. I remember the podcast before. This is what I said. All of us watching Shang-Chi this week. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I feel like you better have been letting the side down with the cinema releases, you know. COVID. No, nah, man, the cinema's been open. I'm out here, bro. I'm out here. Bro, oh, I'm repping gosh. to the fullest, bro. I'm out here. Oh, nah, I hear that. You know, we were the only ones in the cinema as well yesterday. We were the only ones in there. All right, you know what? Yeah. I can't even... No, nah, you know what? F it. I'm going to tell you, because you can watch it on YouTube anyway. Now, in the third one, yeah, in the, the Lowe's post credit scene, yeah, basically, he meets up with other... He's talking to other Marvel characters. He's really going to mute it. Like he doesn't edit it. I don't understand. Like he doesn't go anyway, it doesn't matter. But basically he sees Hulk. Yeah. So he's he's like on a freeway call between like him, Hulk. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah. And, and Miss um, Marvel. Yeah, yeah. That's the last one. Yeah. Oh, that's the last one, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's the last one. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. But yeah. I didn't like the fact that it was the old Hulk. Like not not old Hulk, like Hulk. I know that I know Professor. I know you know what like, Hulk. Why has yeah. he gone back? Because I in know, the film, he couldn't go back. He was sexy looking Hulk. You get me? If in the last film he was sexy Hulk, he wasn't. He didn't go back to being other other Hulk. But did he? Did I get it wrong? In Endgame, did he go back to being Bruce Banner, Bruce whatever his name is? Not that we saw. Not that we saw. So that's why I didn't he like. Was, yeah. He was Hulk in it. He was Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, with, Hulk with, with an injured with an injured arm. Yeah. Yeah, Hulk with an injured arm and glasses, looking like some hot boy. Pause. But that's why I didn't like it because it was like old Hulk, and I was like. How have you just been able to go back to being Hulk now? And what they like was the whole, oh, okay, I gotta go see you. Like everyone just disappeared. It's like, hold on, there's something going on here. Like, yeah, why yeah, are you yeah. not so disinterested? Yeah, Mark, Mar- yeah. she's, she's, she's moving like she still don't care about anything. Like she yeah, only yeah, cares yeah. about space, only cares about space. Yeah. All right, cool. But anyway, that was a thing. Um, anyone that's watching the video, um, I don't know why Rich is doing his lips like that. But Which is a, a full, Waist, could it? Yeah, fully, 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 fully waist. Fully, could you shut your forehead, bro? Um, why is it, mate? Why is this to a skin net? Just let him do a skin net. Why is he trying to? Why is he trying to go his head to level one? I know, like, what's he doing? Look at it's probably shiny, isn't it? It's it's the it's like, it's like there's, a, there's a, a sun on his on his forehead. Yeah, fully. But yes, big stuff, up, Rich. They're good now, Rich. But I went on cinema. <laughs> I went to cinema on Saturday to watch Respect. All right, the respect film, oh, yes, please, it. which yeah. is the Are- Aretha Franklin film. Yeah, um, yes, I know. Don't yeah. watch it. It's got um, obviously Jennifer Hudson stars yeah. Aretha Franklin. Aretha, Aretha Franklin chose her. So I want you to play me. Amazing film, amazing film. It's got yeah, Mary J. Blige in it, yeah. Marlon Wayans, Forrest Whitaker. But it's mad because when Forrest Whitaker's in it, yeah, I keep on thinking Bumpy Bumpy Johnson, yeah, but I. Even the one, the one that did surprise me was, um, you know, jukebox. Jukebox is in, in the yeah. film. She's in the film. She's one yeah. of the sisters. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's okay, her younger cool. sister. She plays Carolyn Franklin. That this is, jukebox, she's, the, she's got, the power she's got jukebox this, or this jukebox? This power. Jukebox. This jukebox. This one, like, because like, obviously she can sing in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of so course. she sings like it's got Martin Luther King in it, Smokey Robinson, Sam Cooke. Like John Hammond, I brother, it's a proper, I, it's a proper good watch. It's a long watch. It's about maybe almost two and a half hours. Yeah, those films are usually a long watch. Yeah, yeah. but it's a very good biopic. Like you know, like mm. it's funny because like we was in the back row with like no, just me. Like we was there, but there was other people in the back row, or whatever. Yeah, and then afterwards, like you know, like 
you know how black is, isn't it? Like, we watch a film, innit? So, like, afterwards, like, you're clapping, we're standing up, we're giving the cinema a standing ovation. Like, it was, like, it was such a good watch, man. It was such a good watch. Like, it talks about Martin right, cool. assassination. Like, I'm not saying watch it for the pod. Like, I think just watch it as a decent film. Like, she sing, like, bruv, Jennifer Hudson can sing, bruv. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, sing, stand. bruv. Like, and it was interesting because you know a lot about, I didn't know a lot about, it. you know, like, so for example, um, R-E-S-P-C-T, yeah? That wasn't her song originally. That was an Otis Redding song. What, oh, written okay. for Otis Redding? No, it was Otis Redding. He sung the song. He released the song, everything. She basically, oh, yeah, she basically just did oh, a She remix. covered it. Yeah, she did a cover version, but she changed up a lot of the kind of the arrangement. And that was like her first big hit. Before that, she had done like three or four, three albums, I think it was, and they hadn't gone to like she hadn't got made a that hit. Was it? And that was the one that she came a thing. And it was like yeah, loads of oh, different wow. things. Like she did the whole like um she, Amazing Grace, like she did a gospel album. That was her best selling album. Serious. Yeah, like she said, look, I want to do a, a gospel album. I don't want to care about like all this circular music. I want to do a gospel album because like she was going through things and she was like, God needs to take me through whatever. That gospel album was her highest, to, or at that time was her highest album to date. How, how was Marlon, Marlon Wayans acting? Um, he was all right. So Marlon Wayans plays, I think it's Ted. This basically, it was her husband. It was her husband. Ted Degrassi, this man, bro. He played <laughs> Ted, oh, well, what his name was. I can't remember what his name was, yeah? Ted White, which turned out to be her husband at one point. And then, like, they go through their relationship with his abuse, whatever. He was okay. He played all right. It was all right. That was, like I said, it's just, for me, especially because I didn't know this stuff. A lot of stuff I didn't know, so it's a very good film. So I do recommend R.E.S.P. or Respect, should I say. It's not R.E.S.P. I do recommend Respect. And I think it's a soundtrack. I think Jennifer Hudson singing on the soundtrack, so I will probably try to get a soundtrack. All right. Has anyone else been watching anything recently? No, you know. Say no, you know. I don't know. So, do you know what? Actually, first, um, married at first sight, but if you're not watching it, it's like there's no point in talking about it, but it's big. It's a, it's a wild concept of a show. Um, we can talk about it another time. It's definitely a wild concept of a show. People just randomly meet each other, they're getting married, but apparently, they, they're, they're, they're vetted in the sense of like what your likes and interests are, and they try to match you to the best of their best of their abilities, isn't it? Yeah, but correct. just like another, is this like an like like soulmate and all those kind of things isn't it? yeah no but this yeah, is like a yeah, reality yeah, reality TV show yeah I know I know yeah. but what I'm trying to say yeah but these people are actually getting married legally married that's your husband yeah. that's your wife but it is good it is good today's episode was mad politics it's but on Netflix yeah. no it's on Channel 4 yes oh, Channel, okay. 4. Channel 4 Channel 4 yeah Channel 4 but it was politics but yeah um, no I've just been watching that been watching I'm still watching Target's show um uh, on yeah, on the BBC, it's on the third episode now. The other one airs on Thursday. That's really good. Big him up for that as well. All right. Um, I watched a film called Gunpowder Milkshake, starring Angela Bassett, Lena Headley. Yeah, if you want to watch it, watch it. Let's put it that way. It's like they're like some assassins. It's decent, but I think because we watched Kate the other day, it kind of has judged like warped my concept of like women assassins. Like as a, as a concept oh, okay. of the film, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um, Sex Education's obviously come out on Netflix. Yeah, no, both. I see. That's yeah, what I mean, and both. there was another program that's come out on Netflix that I don't think I, I watched part of one episode. Um, Merv also put it in group. I think it's a Japanese one. Um, oh, I can't remember what Netflix. I think it's in the top ten at the moment. Um, but I'm hearing rave reviews about it, so I think it's probably oh, one to watch. quiz game or something. Quiz game. Something like that, yeah. With yeah, I've I've seen the first squid, episode. Yeah, squid, game, squid, squid game, squid game, squid yeah. game. Yeah, it's big. It is big. I saw, sorry, what am I talking about? Yeah, I saw the first episode of that. Yeah, it's a squid game. That's another one to watch. All right. Well, um, Merv's probably going to cuss us because the length of the show is probably longer than he would have wanted. But like I said, that's episode one ten. Just like the creps. Get me, get me. Yeah. All right, Kel, you got anything to say to the man then? Or the people then? Uh... Like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, Mr. Porn King, have you got anything to say to your people then? Happy birthday to Zach, little man. Oh, shit. Today. Happy birthday, yes. Zach. <laughs> Massive, oh, shit. 
Yes, happy birthday to my son, man. My, my <laughs> annoying, naughty son, bro. Happy birthday to him, man. Yes, big up, Zach. I guess, that, I guess that from you, and happy birthday to Merv for Friday, this Friday coming up. Yeah, happy birthday, so, Merv. The man. day the pod release, Merv. Okay, you're soon 40, but you're not 40 yet, so big yourself up. Get me. Yeah? All right, people, you know the deal? One up, one down, my love. Gang. Peace. Gang.